Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here. In the video I have for you today, I'm very excited about what I'm going to be sharing with you is a custom pick that I just got in, and it is quickly becoming one of my favorite picks. This is a custom pick that was made by Hank Fisher, and he's starting to show that he is really an expert when it comes to making custom picks. This pick feels very sturdy, it is very comfortable in the hand, and it is just very beautiful to look at. I'm going to have some more information coming up on this pick in just a second. Please stay tuned. Just look at the mirror finish on this pick. I'm not sure if the video is able to do it justice, but this is a really beautiful pick. And that profile is excellent and works very well. I've tried it out on quite a few locks and it is opening them up very, very well. This pick is very beautiful to look at. Sits very comfortable in the hand. And what I'd like to do is just first start off by showing you some close-ups on this pick and then we'll get into some more detail on it in just a second. Now that we've gotten a nice close-up of this pick, I want to go over some of the fine details that makes this pick special. So when we first start off with the handle, you can see that it is very comfortable in the hand and it has a really nice ergonomic shape, and it is very smooth going across. It is expertly finished, and it has a really nice coating on the wood. You can see the finishing shows off the grain very well, and it just really makes it look like a very aesthetically pleasing pick. The wood that Hank Fisher chose when he made this pick was red Bilal wood, and it feels very sturdy, and it just really does have a nice appeal to it. When we move down to the shaft of the pick, you can see that it is very, very shiny. It has a mirror-like finish, and it has a very nice profile. It doesn't have too tall of a shank height, which is nice, and it's made out of 23 thousandths of an inch feeler gauge, and it feels very sturdy. One thing that Hank Fisher does when he works on his picks is he does not use any power tools when he's working on the shaft because he does not want to mess up the temper of the pick and he wants to keep the metal as strong as possible. This pick feels very sturdy and it will stand the test of time. I feel comfortable using this pick and I'm going to try to use it all the time. I really enjoy it. I feel like it's not going to break. I know that a custom pick is not the easiest thing to replace if you do break it, but I feel like I enjoy this pick enough where I'm going to start using it more. So this pick is a really great pick to have. I am so happy to have it. And if you want to be able to get one for yourself, how you can order it is you can send Hank Fisher an email at hankfisher2 at gmail.com. I'll drop that in the description below and you'll also see it on the screen. And you can just send him an email and talk to him, let him know what you want, and he'll be able to tell you how much you'd like to charge for it. He puts hours of work into each and every pick and you do get stunning results. You can see a couple other channels that he's made picks for and they've all gotten positive reviews. I'm very happy to own the ones that I have so far. I have this one in the standard hook profile file in 23 thousandths and additionally I have one in a gem profile in 15 thousandths of an inch thickness. I feel like both of these are very sturdy and I'm very happy to have them. So what I'd like to do now is show you an example of this pick opening up a couple locks. Alright, so let's now try this pick out on a couple locks. I'm not going to try any locks that are too difficult. These are just some quick set locks, some schleg locks that I have pinned up some security pins in. And we're going to see what it takes to get them open with this pick. So let's just start off with the first lock here. Let's see. One's binding. Got a click. Two. 
three, four, got a click, five, it's binding up, got a click, one, got another click, two, three, four, and five, got a good false set, one, two, counter, three, four, five, counter rotation, and we are now, in fact, open. So, let's try this out on a couple more locks. I got a couple more quick set here, and this is a pretty sturdy pick, and it just is very comfortable in the hand, and I really enjoy the feel of it. So one feels good, two feels good, three, click, four, click, five, one, two, three, four, okay, five's binding, got a good click on five, now over to two, good click, three, four, five, one's binding up, and the lock is now open. So now let's just try this out on just one more lock here. We got a regular Schleg lock here, more to cylinder with some security pens. The Schleg keyway is a little bit more difficult than the quick set, so you got to kind of pick at an angle, but this pick fits in very nicely. One, two, three, four, five. What I really like, I love the 23 thousandths of an inch thickness. I use 25 thousandths a lot, but this is a really great in-between thickness for a lot of different locks. See, I think we're just stuck on one spool pen here. Let's just see. One, two, three, four, five, let's see, two, open this up. So this is just a quick demonstration of this pick in action. It holds its shape very well. It doesn't really bend. It is still perfectly straight. I don't feel it flex at all. It doesn't have a little stamp on the bottom there that's going to make it less strong and risk it snapping. And I've used my 15 thousandths of an inch one quite a bit now. It still has that mirror-like finish. It's still as straight as when it came in and it feels very strong. I think Hank Fisher makes a really good product and I really recommend that you check it out if you're ever interested in getting a custom lock pick. They are very strongly made. They are very comfortable in the hand, and they're just a really cool thing to collect, and it's something that's just very practical and useful when you're in lock sport. I feel like these are going to stand up the test of time, and they have my stamp of approval. Either way, guys, that is all I have for you today. This has been my review on Hank Fisher's custom picks. If you guys have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you all have a great day. And if you're interested in checking out Hank Fisher's custom picks, please send them an email at hankfisher2 at gmail.com, and I will drop that on the description below. Thank you so much for checking this out, and have a great day.